Hi, I'm Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician, and welcome to another one of our video shorts. I have a friend and a client who's built a few houses over the years, and he likes to do quite a bit of the work himself. That includes the electrical installation. He'll wire the entire house, excluding the service entrance, and he has no problem with any of the branch circuit wiring, with the exception of one thing. He cannot remember how to wire a three-way switch network. I explain it to him every time, he pulls in the correct wires, but when it comes to hooking it all up, he's back to me for more advice. So I'm a firm believer in the old adage that a picture is worth a thousand words. So surely a live demonstration would be priceless. So several years back, I built this demo board to provide a visual of how a standard single pole switch and a three-way switch network function. I use rope light to simulate the flow of electricity. This board has assisted me in a demonstration for a grade 6 science class and it's also appeared with me on national TV for a segment of HELP TV on Access Network and Canadian Learning Television. It's beginning to show its age so after we shoot this video I'm going to dismantle the board and lighten the load for our car trailer. Okay moving over to the demo board now I'm going to start by describing what I have here. I've got rope light to indicate the power in hot conductors. I haven't shown any neutral conductors just for simplicity's sake. So here we have a two gang box drawn on the board. The functional part of the circuit is up here. We have a two gang box, single pole switch here, a three way switch here. This is the hot wire coming in. Let's imagine that it's pigtail spliced, goes to the common conductor of the three way and one of the terminals on the single pole switch. Single pole switch, fairly easy to understand. Right now this switch is shown in the off position. Power in the box, but no circuit to the wire going to the light. Turn that switch on, which closes the circuit here. Now you have power flowing up to the light. Break the circuit, it's off. Fairly simple to understand the single pole switch. Here's where a lot of people have their difficulties. Three-way switch, again, the hot wire coming into the common conductor on a three-way switch, which will be identified usually by being black in color. The two traveler screws will be brass. Power is here at the common conductor. Now you can see in this case, this switch is in the up position. So this connection is made. Power is going down one of the travelers to the other three-way circuit. This switch is in the down position, which is here. No power to the light. If you're at the other end of a hallway, which is a perfect application for a three-way switch network, you want to turn that light on, coming from the bedroom, heading to the bathroom, turn that on, this connection is made, the light is on. Head to the other end of the hallway now, you see this switch is up, light is on, the path is complete, you want to turn that light off. Switch this one down, it's connected to here, but that traveler has nowhere to go because of that switch position, the light is off. And again, somebody else comes in, the other end of the hallway, turns that down, that connection is made, you have a power source from the first three-way switch. Fairly simple to understand if you can just see it and visualize it. Well, I hope this was a useful demonstration to help you understand how switches work, both the single pole and the three-way. And I hope you enjoyed the first edition of what we hope will be many useful video shorts. If you have any comments or suggestions for another topic that you would like us to cover in a future segment, please drop us an email at suggestions at electrical-online.com. So on behalf of Sandy and myself, thanks for watching and remember, work safely.